Hey guys, so today's video is a little different actually. This is going to be the first time that I do something that's not cast iron related or anything else. Um, obviously it is cooking related. And uh, so I've been going to William and Sonoma lately and I've been buying things from them. And uh, you know, this isn't uh, like a video where I'm, you know, being paid or anything like that. But uh, I've been looking for a good knife. Um, all the knives I have are just something that I purchased from Costco or, you know, Walmart. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been watching a lot of cooking videos and a lot of people say, you know, a sharp knife is going to be the best thing you can have in the kitchen. And it's, you know, a sharp knife sounds dangerous. It sounds like you're going to cut your finger. But um, in reality, they say that if you have a sharp knife, you're going to have a uh, better chance where you're not going to cut your finger. Um, they say a dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp knife. And the reason being is that if you have a dull knife, um, whatever you're trying to cut, you can, you know, put too much force or, or you know, obviously have an accident. Um, if you have it in your hand and you're trying to cut something and you're putting too much pressure, your hand can slip or, you know, anything can happen. But um, that's why they mentioned that a, a dull knife is going to be a lot more dangerous than a sharp knife. But um, with this, you know, it's a Shun uh, Chef 8-inch knife. And uh, I actually got this on sale uh, at William and Sonoma. And uh, it's incredibly sharp. I don't think I've ever owned a knife that is this sharp. Like I said, most of my knives are just knives that I've you know, I had purchased from Walmart, purchased from Costco. So I've never really had a knife, like I mentioned, that was sharp. So my cook, you know, my cutting skills are horrible. I, you know, I have a horrible uh, cut, you know, knife skills. I don't have knife skills at, at all. But um, I, I like doing food prep, um, especially because it saves me time. So uh, I wanted a good knife that was going to help me kind of, you know, cut the time in my food prep. Um, it's like a pun. But anyway, you know, this uh, I needed a knife to cut the time for my food prep. So uh, like I said, I looked into, you know, one of the best knives out there, uh, you know, that has good reputation, that has, you know, um, something that's good. So, like I said, uh, these are Japanese made and uh, most of the, you know, most of the knives that are some of the best knives in the world are Japanese, actually. And um, so, like I said, I, I opted to go this route with the Shun just because, uh, you know, it's 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 available at William and Sonoma. And uh, like I said, I've been shopping there a lot. So um, this knife usually goes for $280. <clears throat> which is a lot of money and you know some somebody's probably saying like why would you even spend that much money on a knife um obviously these are handmade i mean they have a certain way of making these and uh, they use good material it's uh i forget uh, i forget what kind of steel it is but um you know if you guys look up uh, shun cuttery you guys can find information on this knife um and uh, i got the this this knife on sale uh so it wasn't the 280 dollars or whatever i mentioned before but it was 120 i think um like i said william and sonoma they have a sale going on uh on some of this uh, some of the knives from shun and uh, like i said doing a great job you know uh this this knife is amazing uh i had my family kind of give it a go too because uh my family also doesn't like using sharp you know sharp knives they're they're scared of sharp knives and um i actually this this one here is a uh a yulu from what i know but uh for me this is kind of a cowboy knife because i actually found this this knife um from a youtuber uh cowboy kent rollins and uh you know he sells this on his uh web page and uh, I, you know, I kind of eyed this for the longest time and then I finally got it. And uh, I actually love it a lot because it does, you know, help out a lot with uh, cutting as well. And it's a sharp knife. Um, 
but it, you know it's 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 a lot more user friendly um you know you got the you got the handle up on top and you can roll it where you can mince food a lot quicker so you know um the blade is obviously more round and you can roll roll you know the blade around to mince food a lot quicker but um you know and you can use it like this where i'm you know kind of scooping up whatever i have here and uh, i got some slices going on here of jalapeno and um like I said, you know, uh, a good knife is going to help you uh, for whatever it is that you're doing, especially if you're cooking. Obviously, you're going to, you know, you're going to need something that's sharp to kind of help you with the cooking time. So like I mentioned, you know, um, knife skills are, you know, almost non-existent. But, uh, you know, my sister, she's a, she actually went to a culinary school and she knows how to use knives. And she was showing me like you got to, you know, start from the top. Or kind of use the point to, uh, you know, to kind of cut like you roll it, kind of like what I was doing with the uh, with the, you know, the cowboy Kent knife, and uh, and you know I was starting to get the hang of it. But like I said, um, you know, I know my cutting skills are horrible, but uh, I like to, like I said, you know, I like to do the fruit prep. It, it helps out a lot, and uh, I hope you guys, you know, are. Uh, okay with you know a video like this let me know what you guys think of you know like uh, other products for cooking let me know if you guys are into stuff like that as well but like i said towards the end i was starting to get the hang of this and uh, you know uh these products are really great you know like i said this this uh, shun knife you can find you know all kinds of information from their website from william and sonoma you can look them up um, they are expensive, obviously, like I mentioned, but um, right now with the sale going on, you guys can find a good knife for a great price. And like I said, you know, um, a sharp, you know, the sharp knife is going to help you in the kitchen uh, to cut time um, for cooking, prepping, whatever it is that you need to do. And uh, so, yeah, so this is kind of like a knife review. And like I said, it's doing a great job. It, it's super sharp and uh, the other the other knife as well very sharp and then uh the typical name for a, the knife style is a yulu uh for you know for this knife but um i i i just know it as a a cowboy knife like uh because they used to use knives like this for um chuck wagons back then so you know i always called it a cowboy knife and i and i actually had this 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 uh knife for about three four months now and uh, i've been using this you know that knife a lot to um to do a lot of my food prep and and you know it does a great job and and that knife like i mentioned the uh the cowboy knife the yulu that knife um is kid friendly kind of as well like if you have your kids there and uh, you you know they want to participate um to you know chop up some some veggies or whatever it is uh, you know, it, it's a lot easier to use. Um, like I said, the handle is going to be on top and you kind of just roll it. Uh, you can roll it to uh, cut, you know, your whatever, like I said, whatever you're cutting. So, um, you know, if you want to have your kids kind of help you out, you can use something like that. I mean, if, you know, obviously, I, like I wouldn't trust my, my child um, to use a sharper knife because, you know, he, you know, he's only eight years old. My son is only eight, so... Uh, um, you know, he was trying to say, Hey dad, let me use your knife, you know, your new knife. And I said, no, this is a very sharp knife. I'm even scared of using it, but, uh, yeah, you have to get over that fear. That's what my sister was telling me. She said, get over the fear, uh, of, you know, of the knife. You got to understand that. Yes, it's a sharp knife, but you also have to, uh, learn to use it, you know, and she was showing me some techniques. Obviously I wasn't doing it exactly the way, you know, you're supposed to like i said my knife skills are non-existent so if you guys know how to cut um you know uh, it's it's this you know a sharp knife is going to help you out a lot and uh hopefully i can gain some knife skills <laughs> with this you know i do uh I, you know i do like this knife a lot so for me it is motivation to kind of learn how to use a knife and how to cut and uh how to dice and uh, there's so many cutting you know cutting styles to cut your vegetables I mean, dicing, julienne, julie, I think it's julienne. I think one of the cuts 
but there's so many cuts out there if you guys know you guys you know let me know there's you know of the cuts um i don't even know if i said that other one correctly but anyway like i mentioned um it's always you know useful to have uh food prepped that way when whenever you are you know planning to do uh cook a meal or anything like that you can um you have everything ready you don't have to wait and you know for cutting and things like that so like I said, I do recommend, obviously, that you guys, you know, for whatever recipes you guys are doing, food prep is very important. And uh, so, yeah, so this, like I mentioned, just a quick knife knife review and cutting, you know, showcasing my cutting skills, which is, like I said, very bad. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know if you guys enjoy content like this. We, you know, we can do other reviews of other products, whether it's knives, whether it's... Um, you know maybe even uh like cookware or like where you you utensils i'm sorry not cookware but utensils um i've also purchased some new utensils you know for stirring around my food what i use for cast iron and uh touching on that actually um i know a lot of people don't like using metal on cast iron but um oh actually real quick you can see here like i said you kind of roll it i'm being a little aggressive here trying to act like i'm a pro but uh, yeah, it's actually, you know, for me, it's it's quicker. But this knife is, since it's thicker, you're not gonna get, you know, fine cuts. You're gonna get, you know, kind of thicker cuts. And, uh, but either way, like I said, it's still, you know, it's still a very sharp knife. And, you know, this rolling motion is what I use to um, mince, you know, the, the food. And like I said, you know, you can use this kind of method. And if you guys, this, if you guys like this style of knife, it, it's very easy to use. But um, either, you know, going back to what I was saying, um, if you guys want videos of utensils, uh, you know, how to, you know, what to use or what I use, let me know in the comments uh, if you guys want a video of utensils or, you know, if, if you guys have any suggestions of what you guys use, let me know if you, if whatever products you guys like to use with your cast iron. Um, you know, do you guys use, because um, I use metal utensils, not all the time. But I do use metal utensils on my cast iron. Obviously, I'm not going to sit there and like scrape, you know, the, the pan or the skillet, whatever I'm using. I'm not going to sit there and, 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 you know, scrape the, the food away um, on the skillet or, you know, or be rough with it. <clears throat> but like I said, um, if you guys are interested in videos of, you know, things like that, let me know. And, um, you know letting you guys know a little bit um i do use uh like silicone like utensils or plastic utensils or um i also like using mostly wooden utensils um wooden utensils i feel like are a lot safer um than plastic ones because if i'm cooking something in really high heat or or not necessarily high heat but you know I i'm just worried about the plastic melting in but anyway uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very different from the normal. But I appreciate your guys' time. And uh, thank you guys for watching.